Hey, yo, Mina, it's Koe. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's hanging in there. Uh, lots of stuff going on in my personal life right now. I don't know if I should talk about it yet. Um, but I, I hope everybody's doing okay. And Megan, I hope you are okay with your family and you and your little one. Uh, I know you guys have COVID right now, and I'm really, really sorry. I hope you guys are doing okay and will we'll recover really fast. Um, I'm praying for you guys, and I hope you're you're going to pull out of this unscathed and get through it real quick. Um, worried about you guys, and I'm thinking of you. So um, I hope you know that. Uh, so let's get to it. So, Miss Nita Vlogarina wanted to know how to make one of these awesome rainbow chainmail ties that I made for my good Judy. And I wanted to show off real quick. This is a cape that I'm making for my brother's wedding. He's getting married uh, in June. And... I've got, it's a Lord of the Rings themed wedding, and I've got Arwen's pendant right here. It's a butterfly, silver butterfly, and then I've got a Mithril cape. It's not as light as Mithril, <laughs> and it's not as hard as dragon skills, but <laughs> it looks pretty cool. And it's pretty flowy. Look at that. Modeled by Miss Gemma. Thank you, Miss Gemma, for your contribution. Look at that. It's going to look so cool. It's an outdoor wedding, so it'll be sunny and hot. <laughs> so I figured this would be pretty cool because it's totally uh, see through, pretty much. Like it's breathable. Um, it's, it'll be really cool looking, I think. On his wedding day. Here's Gemma's shoes. You like Gemma's shoes? She's got some bling going on. And she's got a Lord of the Rings skirt on. Thank you for bundling for us today, Gemma. Fantastic. All right, let's get to it. Okay, hey, Nita. So... If you want to really get cereal, super cereal about <laughs> chain mail making, you got to get yourself some Zuron pliers. X U R O N. Uh, otherwise, if you try to do other brands, they're going to hurt your hands pretty bad. These are going to be the best on the market for you, and they're the most sturdy. And the rings, I got them from the. Probably one of the the cheapest uh, website, but not the lowest quality. She's got really good quality. Uh, it's called Metal Designs with a Z uh, dot com, and she's based out of Canada. Her name's Shelly. She's awesome. And so to start, we're going to do a European four and one is what it's called. And if you want to look up an additional tutorial, because maybe I'm not going to show you very well what, how to do it. Um, it's called a European 4-in-1 chainmail uh, tutorial. Um, you're going to close four rings with your pliers. And open one of them to start your strand. So we close four, open one, oh see that one's not closed all the way, don't want any shoddy work here, otherwise it'll scrape you, there you go, okay, open one right there, then you're going to just pop the four onto that ring. I 
and close. And you're going to lay it flat. Now pay attention to what way they are facing. So see how this middle one is kind of sticking up in the air? You want that facing towards you. Uh, it's a bit frustrating if you try to lift this strand, it'll get kind of tangled. Sometimes this, I noticed, I didn't know how to fix it at first because there was, it didn't cover it in the tutorial. But if it flips, sometimes it'll like invert itself. It'll just uh, shove the rings through the other way. And you just want to flip that center one back. I'll show you how it looks <clears throat> when it happens, okay? Because it's really frustrating when you're starting out and you don't know what's going on with the strand and that happens to you. Now for the next part, you got your little bit, your little one facing towards you. We're going to close two and open one. These are 18, so the size I'm using is 18 gauge quarter inch aluminum. Uh, it's uh, SWG, which means, oops, sorry, I closed another one, which I can use later on the next strand. Uh, it's standard. I think it's called standard something gauge. Um, if you, if it says AWG, that means it's a weaker metal and you don't want to use those. They'll pull apart. So don't buy rings like that. They might be cheaper, but it's not good. Okay. So you want to take this one and you want to weave it right through the bottom two. Just scoop it up from the top and then underneath like that. So it'll look kind of like this when you pull on it and close it. And then set it like that so it'll look exactly like three you got three little rows just like that and then you're gonna repeat that I'll show you one more you're gonna make three strands of this in order to make a tie Pop the two on, go through the top, and underneath, and close. I try to rub my finger along it to make sure it's flush. So I'll show you what happens when it flips. So this will flip sometimes when you pull it up. So when you try to lay it down, you're like trying to fix it, but it looks like this, a hot mess. And you're like, oh no, what happened? I thought I did it right. it'll look like that all bunched up so just to fix to fix that you just flip that top one that middle ring back around Whoop. just like that that will save you so much time and energy uh, when you come to that problem okay um, I'm gonna Fast forward real quick 
unless you want to watch you can fast forward I'm just gonna start the next strand real quick for you and show you how to connect them to the, the two together um, each strand is 60 pieces long or 60 rows sorry 60 rows long for the chainmail tie with the different colors uh, it was a little bit difficult I kind of had to figure out on my own how to do the rows it's upside down so turn it around bring it around and bring it around and so to connect the two rows together you take one open it and you thread it through the top you're gonna do all four of these on the front so you thread it through the top right here and through and then you're gonna do underneath and underneath and then close probably should have done the next row as well so you could get a better picture let's do the next row the hardest part is the colors under over under close Okay, now I'll show you the next piece, joining them together. Over, down, and underneath. I hope you can see this okay. And throw up. So now you can sort of see what it looks like to have that little weave going on. That's the European 4-in-1. You can make an entire shirt out of this uh, method or weave. Uh, I'm going to show you the chainmail tie that I made so you can see the rows of colors. So I kind of just pre-balled my first tie, it was really difficult for me to figure out how to get the rows right. But I hopefully can show you what I did. So you've got a row here. I, w I did 20, oh, oh, with this tie, there was like quite a few colors so I only did like 13 rows down I think and I went oh it's hard to explain um, there's one row here then you've got one piece the next row okay so the next row you've got light blue in the middle and light blue on the left and then teal on the right you see that so the next row would be those two colors on one on the middle one on the left and then the original color on the right then the next row is all the all the light blue all three are going to be light blue then the next row you're going to start with the middle one and the left one in the new color and then the right one 
is going to be the original, the this color, the light blue. So you just repeat that going down with getting the rows right. You just add another row of the original color. And then you'll get to where you can start that pattern again, if you can see that. So I'll let you look at that for a second. So you can kind of study that if you can see it, okay? I hope. Um, to close it, all I did was, it looks all complicated, right? It's not at all. You just take either side and you scoop it up with one ring and you close it on either side. So you just grab each side on the top, on the first row. So like you grab these two little doodads with one ring and hook it together. That's it. And you do that six times on each, each row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times. That's it. Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Okay. And then for the chain, literally all it is is you hook two together at the same time. And then two together. Just link it. Just hook them on each other. For the chain. Super easy. That's the easiest part of the entire thing. And then I got a lobster clasp on it. That's it. It's really easy once you get the hang of it. It's really pretty, really dynamic. Um, it's a little bit painful if you've got arthritis. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, or carpal tunnel. It will exacerbate it over time. So I don't recommend doing it all the time, like these crazy chain mailers do, but it's a very fun hobby. So I hope you liked that tutorial, Nita. I hope that worked for you. Well, I hope you found that tutorial helpful, and I hope you get to make your own chain mail stuff and have lots of fun making pretty shinies and <laughs> sharing it with the world. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.